Hi, welcome to part two of the lightweight dynamics tutorial. Um, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to set up the dynamics animation and just give you some basics of what's going on. And the cool thing about this is that you can fiddle with a lot of the settings that I'm going to show you and just sort of experiment. Um, to me, this is a lot of fun. This is sort of how I discovered how everything, the LightWave, the Dynamics engine within LightWave works. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that your first layer is highlighted. Go to Object, Properties, and you'll see all of these tabs. We want the Dynamics tab. We're going to add Collision for our half dome here because the balls are going to be colliding with the half dome. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the FX Collision tab and we want Bounce Bind to be about 50%. Um, the type of object, we want Object Advanced. I'm not going to go into explaining why I do that. It just works a lot better. And um, we don't have to do anything else. We'll just leave it that way. You could fool with the roughness, which actually I'll put it at like 5%. It just adds some more randomness to the animation when it's moving around it causes the balls to maybe bounce a little more or take a sort of a different path. Um, under current object select test layer 2 and we're going to add hard FX for the balls there. Click there and let's see um, weight we're going to make 2 resistance go ahead and put 0 gravity We'll go negative 400, and you can fool with that. You'll see later you can make it 50, which would make it go a lot slower, or you can go even higher. It definitely adds to the speed uh, of the animation. So rotation, we want it to roll, because we want the balls to roll. And we want zero resistance. We'll just put that. Under collision, we're going to have it by sphere. Self-interaction, the interaction between the, the balls, we want sphere so they bounce off each other correctly and interaction we're going to have sphere. Under bounce um, I'm going to put it at about 50 percent. Under force we're going to want it to go on the positive z-axis. We're going to want these balls to get like they're being shot out of a gun. We'll go um, I'm going to go at, at 20 right there and then go ahead and calculate it and see what happens. Oh, One last thing I forgot we need to make the uh, going to make more frames. So let's make it about 5,000 frames. You should see your keyframe there. And then go ahead and now let's calculate. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, there it goes. Now that was pretty fast. So I'm going to board out of that. I'm going to go back in the first layer and I'm going to get rid of the roughness. That's And then I'm going to calculate now. And as you can see, the animation will take a lot longer. The simulation, I should say, will take a lot longer to go down. And um, I'm not going to do the whole thing as it simulates out. But as you can see, if I go ahead and, and stop right there, go back to zero, and just play it, you get a kind of an idea how it works. It's kind of cool. Um, go ahead and fiddle with some of the settings. You know, set it up how you want to, and uh, hopefully this helped you out. Thank you very much.